Good afternoon, good evening, good morning to all of you out there. Happy Mother's Day. Listen, I want to talk to you all about Satan. Satan's got squatters' rights. Yeah, he do. So he think he owns everything. He had a conversation with Jesus about this whole thing. And he was telling Jesus he sent them up to the top of the pinnacle of the temple. He took them to a high mountain and said, listen, I can give you all of this. Luke chapter 4 says he's, that, that Satan said that it's because it was given to me so I can offer it to you if you like. He never had every right to say that because it was given to him. Adam was given a lease and he didn't pay his rent on time. But prior to that, he subleased it to um, Satan. Satan is walking around with a sublease, but see, he really is a squatter. Squatters are very difficult to get out of your basement, out of your house, out of your attic. And he's got squatters' rights, and you got to go through all the legal jumbo mumble to get them out. You got to go to the to the magistrate, to the courts, the government to get them out. Satan has squatters' rights. And uh, he think he owned everything because he's been given the name Prince of the Power of the Air and uh, the God of this world. So basically, he, he, he good. The problem is that Jesus has the key. He's got the master key. And he can go and at any time change the lock on the door and excommunicate and evict Satan whenever he feel like it. But it's not time. Not time. And Satan know that his time is short in, the, in that uh, in that house called the world, and so he's doing all he can to deceive you. And he thought he would tempt and test Jesus by saying, "If you are the Son of God, do this." And Jesus' response was, "I don't have to respond the way you want me to respond. The Word of God says this: You know better because God, my Father, created you. Lucifer was in heaven." And he was uh, a an anointed cherub. Pipes played. He had he had pipes in his body when he walked. I could hear him playing music out of his body. Yeah, he was a bad man. But shut your mouth. I'm just talking about Lucifer. We can dig it. And the angels were up there, and they were just marvelled by him. And um, well, we see what happened. Satan um, had to get up out of there. Jesus says, "I see Satan." fall from heaven like lightning, like a thunderbolt. He's got squatter's rights. And the time is coming where he will be evicted. Now there's three things that G, that, that Satan tempts you with. He te tempts you with uh, John, the disciple mentioned in 1 John chapter 2, I believe it is. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. If you read Genesis chapter 3, start at verse 6, you see that Eve was tempted by the lust of the flesh. That apple, the lust of the eyes, she saw it, she's going to eat it, and then there was a proclamation that she will become this, the pride of life. He did the same thing with Samson. He went and saw a woman, a Philistine woman, and his parents were like, why, you can't pick the woman that's here among us within the gates? He said, no, I saw this woman. I want her to go get her because she, the way she looked, she was goodly to my eyes. You see, that's how Satan gets you. Did the same thing for David. While the kings were supposed to be at war, David stayed his butt home and he saw uh, that woman undressing, taking a shower, bath, or whatever, uh, on the rooftop. You see, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And this is what Satan attempted to do in, as he was tempting Jesus with the lust of the flesh. He offered him something. Then he showed him something, the lust of the eyes, all the nations or what have you. Then he says, if you would serve me, you know, obey me, then all these things I'll give to you this power, the pride of life, the accomplishment is what that pride of life is. And this is how he tempts you with those three, three things. And that's how the angels fail with those three things. And let me tell you, he is good at what he does. He's a master of it. He's the general of his army. 
and he continues to get us once we understand how this works. But let me tell you, Jesus died and he overtook Satan. Satan know now who he is because <laughs> if the princes and the potentates had known that killing Jesus would cause this kind of uproar and ruckus and salvation, they would have not have done it. His time is short, Satan. And even though he left Jesus for just for a small season, he came back and he's coming back for you too. So you don't have to shout and scream and speak in tongues and re try to rebuke the devil. Just use the word of God. It works every time. Ask me how I know. I'll tell you so. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. If this is that day. Otherwise, stay on the wall. Right? And let the ministers, let the, let the angels minister to you. They brought Jesus nourishment. And they encouraged him with wonderful words. I can imagine an array of them, thousands of them coming to encourage him. Let the ministers, they keep saying ministers, but they are ministering angels. Mm. So let the angels minister to you in your tough time. Why? Well, Satan, squatters rights, that's all he got. He's going to get his eviction notice real soon. I love y'all. Take care of yourself. Now you know.